In this video, we'll look at an important function that will come in very handy while developing the topics of your help file, and that is inserting tables. Now, let us assume we have the following text that explains relationships in a table of a database. For our example, let us say there is an employees table that contains the list of employees of a company. And in this employees table, there are four types of employees, workers, supervisors, managers, and director. All workers must report to a supervisor. To become a supervisor, one must have at least one or more workers reporting to him or her. All supervisors report to a manager. However, a manager can also exist without anyone under him or her, that is, with no supervisors reporting to him or her. All managers report to the director and there is only one director in the company. Now this text can be a little overwhelming to take in and even confusing, but instead, if we were to represent the worker, supervisor, manager and director relationship in a table as follows, doesn't it look better? Another table to describe the managers who need not have any supervisors reporting to them can be easily explained with the following table that summarizes the number of people reporting to their higher ups. In short, tables help you to group and organize data for better clarity. They are also visually more appealing and convey information almost instantly. Inserting tables in Help and Manual is very easy. To insert a table into your help topic, first ensure the right tab is open. Next, click the Insert Table button from the ribbon. Notice a drop down appears with boxes. To create a table, you just need to tell Help and Manual how many rows and how many columns you wish to have in your table. The vertical boxes indicate the columns and the horizontal boxes indicate the rows. For example, let us say we would like to insert a table with four columns and five rows. All we need to do is position the mouse on the topmost and leftmost box. And as you do this, notice the change in color of the box. Next, move your mouse cursor diagonally down and right such that the four vertical boxes for the four columns and five horizontal boxes for the five rows are selected. Now just click your mouse and the table is inserted into your help topic. This is the quickest way to insert a table. Alternatively, you could also click the insert table option from the drop down and in the dialog that appears, enter values for the number of columns and rows. The dialog also offers options to fine tune the table that is to be inserted. Click OK to insert the table into the topic. Once the table has been inserted, we could increase or decrease the size of the table. We could increase or decrease the size of the columns and the rows of the table. To do this, position the mouse over the lines of the table, vertical or horizontal, till your mouse turns to a handle as can be seen in the video. Once you lock on a handle, simply drag it to increase or decrease column and row spacing. To fill the tables, simply click inside a box and start typing away. All other functions of the editor such as bolding text, aligning text, changing color of the text and background, inserting images, symbols, etc. can also be performed. Once a table is inserted, you could tweak several properties of the table. Right click anywhere on the table till you get the shortcut menu and from the table sub menu click on properties. One common adjustment is to add one to the cell border and border around the table fields. By default, the black color is selected, but you could choose another color too. Click OK to confirm the changes. Also, you could add columns and rows, delete columns and rows using the options in the shortcut menu. Let us say you would like to have an additional column after the director column. For this, I first position the cursor on the director column and right click. From the shortcut menu, I position my mouse over table and then from the menu that appears, I mouse over on columns and then I click on insert right, meaning inserting the column to the right of the selected column. The insert columns dialog appears and here I can even enter the number of columns I want to insert. Since we are adding only one column, I leave it as one and click OK. As I do that, notice the new column added to the table. To delete rows or columns, all I need is to position the mouse on the column or row I wish to delete. Then go through the same set of menus as before and this time select delete columns from the column menu. You could use these menus to add or delete multiple rows and columns too. 